Canoe polo is a game in kayaks, modified kayaks with padded bumper bars and rounded ends on the end. Um, it's a bit like water polo or basketball, sort of combined. Um, you use the skills of kayaking, but then in a team, throwing a ball around, passing to your teammates. You've got a goal and you have a goalkeeper who can be anyone on the team who protects that, using their paddle raised up in the air to bat the ball away from the goal. Now, as far as the actual sport itself is played, with five players on each team on the water at any one time. You can have up to eight players in a team, so you have three substitutes. It's played on a 35 metre long pitch by 25 metres wide. The goals are a one and a half by one metre rectangle suspended two metres above the field of play. It's a really good community sort of sport. You've got, you can play in teams. I play in a team in A grade where I've got people from the age of sort of 21 up to a 50 odd year old in my team. So you have a good mixture of abilities. You get to meet lots of people. You can play in mixed teams. You can play in women's teams, junior teams. Everyone tends to know everyone, so when you go to training sessions, there'll be a junior team there and there'll be a veterans team. Um, most of the senior players help with the coaching of the juniors and the women's and the other teams, so everyone really gets to know each other and do lots of things on the committees and stuff as well. There's different women's teams. There's a state women's team and a national women's team. The national women's team usually starts their training and stuff about two years out from the World Championships. Um, they go to training camps between every month to every two to three months, depending on how close it is to the event. Since it's become a World Championship sport, the Australians have won it several times and it is now played, I think, in somewhere in the region of about 40 different countries worldwide. It requires a very high de degree of skill to be played well, but people basically beginning the sport can come in and have a really good fun time because it's just a basic teamwork game. <laughs> I've been in the Australian Canoe Polo team for a few years now and this is just a brief overview of how much our gear costs. Um, our helmet costs around $200 for the helmet and the face mask. Paddles will set you back around $500. And our boats here, this one is $2,200 um, but they range from about $1,700 to $2,200. Canoe polo is not my job, um, we do it in our spare time so I work as a teacher during the day and then either when training for national teams you're either training in the morning or the afternoon or both and then takes up a fair amount of your weekends as you do sort of two or three sessions in a boat on a weekend as well. Canoe polo is not a funded sport. We 
basically uh, self-funded through running competitions and other events and have lots of fundraising events. There's not much sort of government support like Olympic sports. Most of the government support for canoeing goes to slalom and your sprint, which are your Olympic sports. So canoe, canoe polo gets bits and pieces, but not heaps to go to national teams. If it, you do get it, it goes to sort of development and things like that. We use public places to train. So we train on places like the Maribyrnong River, um, the Yarra River, interstate, they train on things like the Torrens. So at times you have to put up with things like um, not so nice water quality and um, don't have many facilities. We're lucky here that we have a, a canoe club. Commitment to canoe polo varies. It, so at a local level, a local club team won't train at all. They'll just play it as a social sport. If you want to play it as a as elite club level or an interstate competition series each year, and those teams will probably train a couple of times a week. The next level up is um, playing for your state, where you, we play a interstate competition once a year at the nationals, and those teams will train three or four times a week. So it's a huge commitment for people, they'll, they'll basically spend their entire non-working time thinking, dreaming, playing polo.